shopping for the past few weeks and I've accumulated a ton of stuff and I figured this video was very appropriate <laughs> and um, I have a lot of things makeup related, skincare related, and also some fashion bits that I wanted to show you guys because there are quite a few sales going on. So let's get started because this is going to be a really long video. So I'm going to start off with what I got from Canada. I went this weekend and I went to a shopper's drug mart and bought um, Bioderma and the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation. I have the shade um, Natural Beige and I believe this is the darkest shade that they have so there's not much of a oh, there's not much of a variety um, with this foundation but I'm really excited to try this out. And then Bioderma, if you guys aren't familiar with this, which I'm probably sure you guys already are, um, it's a cleansing water and I plan to use this for my first cleanse before I deep clean um, my face at nighttime. I recommend going on Amazon if you can. I was just in Canada for a weekend and I decided to pick it up on a whim. And uh, I went to Lush and then I picked up Brazen Honey. This is a face mask and I'm really excited about this. I heard about this through a blogger that I follow. I forgot her name, but I will link her blog down below and her post if I can. But this is supposed to be an amazing mask. It smells really unique. I can't quite pinpoint what it smells like, but it says that it's supposed to revitalize tired skin with warming Ayurvedic herbs and spices. That's what it smells like. And ground almonds to polish and moisturize with honey. And then I got Grease Lightning. This is a tea tree cleanser slash uh, spot treatment for incoming blemishes. I've heard so many things about this. Since I do break out during that time of the month, I figured this would come in handy. And considering I've heard so many great things about this for the past few years, I had to have it. And I went to Walmart and I picked up some new lipsticks from L'Oreal. I don't know if this is in a specific collection, but these were included in the permanent display, so I assume that it's permanent, but these colors are Everbloom and Raspberry Rush. Raspberry Rush is a gorgeous color. It reminds me a lot of Wild Watermelon, uh, the lip butter from Revlon. And then Everbloom is also really gorgeous. I think this would look really nice with people who have medium skin tones and are a little on the tan side. Um, it's really warm and it pulls a lot of orangey like pink tones underneath and I just think it's really gorgeous. And then I picked up an NYC Matte Me Crazy mattifying top coat. I tried this inside the store and I automatically loved it. I think it works really well and I'm just really loving matte nails at the moment, although I don't have them at the moment. Um, I've seen a lot of people rocking that trend lately and I thought I would give it a try. So yeah. And then I stopped by Target and they were having a BOGO free on um, Physician's Formula, so I picked up two face products. This one is no stranger to YouTube. This is the Bronze Booster. I have it in medium dark. And then I have the Mineral Wear. What is this called? Their Talc Free Airbrushing Pressed Powder. And I got it in translucent. It does have some color to it, so I don't know how that would translate onto the face. But I've heard good things about this too. I've heard it being compared to the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. And also from Target, I bought the L'Oreal Power Moisture Moisture Rusk, Rusk Moisture Rush Mask for your hair. This is supposed to give up to 10 times more moisture to your hair. It has hyaluronic acid in it, and I love that it has that because overall it's a good ingredient to have if you want moisture, if you want to add moisture to anything. So I, yeah, I have yet to use this. It smells amazing. This was like about $5 at my local Target. And I got an e.l.f. Jumbo Lip Gloss Stick. I got it in In The Nude. Um, I haven't heard anything about this yet, so I'm excited to use it. It's supposed to be a long-wearing tinted lip color, and I don't know how well this nude will last on my lips, but we'll see. I got the Revlon Lash Potion Grow Luscious Mascara. This is in Blackest Black. Um, I've heard some mixed reviews about this and I'm excited to see how it does on my lashes. I bought it in the waterproof formula because I've heard that the regular formula isn't re really good. It flakes and I've heard that it smudges. I'll probably do a review or a first impression on this mascara um, after this video, probably tomorrow. And then it'll probably be up like sometime this week. And then I stopped by Sephora and I picked up a few things. I got the Corez Wild Rose Lip Butter. This is a gorgeous deep 
red rosy color. Um, I've just really been into wearing these kind of colors lately. They have a nice color range, but for some reason I just was drawn to this one the most. Um, it doesn't really have any scent to it. Um, so, yeah, I'm for sure going to be loving this. And I bought the Buxom Big and Healthy Lip Cream in Berry Blast. I have wanted this color for a long time. This is a really pretty poppy magenta color. I'm just in love with the Buxom Lip Creams in general. I think they are the best lip gloss in the world. <laughs> I seriously want to pick up like every color in this. And then I got the NARS Larger Than Life Long Wear Eyeliner in Rue Bonaparte. I have wanted this one for a while as well. This is supposed to be a really long wearing inner waterline eyeliner and it pulls really, the color pulls really warm. It's not as orange or peachy toned as like the Stila Kajal Eyeliner in Topaz. Um, I will probably do a comparison video slash blog post about comparing those two and the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner. I wanted to do that for a while but I just haven't gotten to it yet. And then I stopped by Macy's and I wanted to try out one of the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfectors. A lot of British bloggers rave about these and I haven't tried anything from the Clarins makeup line and this is the only thing that I've really wanted to try. So um, yeah, I'm excited to try this. This is the color 06, not sure what the name is. I originally wanted to get Rose Shimmer, I think that was 03, but I was really surprised at how light the color was. Um, so, yeah, I figured that I'd just buy, like, a deeper color because I'd like it more. And, yeah, and it comes, it's really similar to the Buxom Lip Cream in that it smells like vanilla. And I think the formulations are really similar. I just haven't tried it yet, so I have no thoughts about it. So, um, i probably do a blog post about this as well. And then for skincare, as you guys know, I purchased some stuff off of the Mario Badescu sale on Hot Look while they were having it like two weeks ago, I think. And it just came in the mail like a few days ago, so perfect timing. And I got the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I've been wanting to replace my, um, what's that called? The Body Shop's Vitamin E Face Mist that I have. That one has parabens in it, and I'm trying to go as natural as possible with my skincare. Um, especially with like lotions and everything. I just really want to go more natural, so this is for all skin types. It has very few ingredients, and all the ingredients are things that I would definitely put on my face, and it's just, you can use this for setting your makeup, for just hydrating your face when you need it to. I got the Enzyme Cleansing Gel. I've mentioned this in my skincare video. This is an amazing product. Um, it's not foaming at all, so it doesn't alkaline the skin. It's really gentle, it has enzymes in it, so it helps to eat away the dead skin cells on top of the face while also um, removing your makeup. Now on to fashion. So, um, why don't we just start off with what I got from PacSun because I'm wearing it right now. Um, one of the things that I got from their BOGO free sale was this shirt right here. It's not really a shirt, it's more of a tank top. And I got it in a size large, it's just kind of like a light denim chambray fabric. It's really nice and loose fitting. Um, I think it sits well on my body and it's just really, really cute. It has like a bow tie on the bottom and then in the back it kind of goes to an A-line cut, which I really like. And then I got this really cute sweater. It's like a florally rose design. I really like the fabric of this. It's so soft and really light so I picture this would be good like over a light tank top or like a slip-on dress um, yeah I'm really excited about that and then I got some stuff from H&M um, while they were having some sales a few weeks ago I got this top which is like so cute it has an A-line cut and then on the sides it has like these flowy chiffon fabric and I really like that it's black as well it looks really classy and chic and I picture this would go nicely with like a statement necklace. And then I got this shirt. I just, I really like the design of it and the fabric's really soft and flowy. I really like shirt, graphic shirts that are in black and white for some reason. So um, I decided to get this. And then I got this almost tweed like sweater. It has half length sleeves and it's kind of big on me for 
size small. Yeah, this is a size small. But it has some really cute stud detailing on the chest area, which I thought was just really unique. And I think this will go great with like boots and leggings and like my hair up in a bun. I got this just light cardigan. This is exactly what I've been needing in my wardrobe and it's just really nice and perfect for every day. So yeah, I got it in a size small. It's not too fitting. It's really stretchy material and it goes down to um, the tops of my knees. And then lastly from um, Urban Outfitters, I managed to find this shirt. This is a Molly Ringwald Breakfast Club shirt. Um, I love that movie so I had to get this shirt and it was only $9.99. I got it in a size small because it's already pretty loose on me so I love this shirt. I probably will want to get like some high-waisted shorts because I don't own a pair yet and I think that this would go great with that so yeah. And that's the end of my haul. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, keep on the lookout for reviews again on my blog and on this channel. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!